and welcome to MicroStrategy's Mobile App Developer Academy. This course is entitled Using the Freeform SQL Editor for Mobile Transactions. The use case for this course is a mobile app that captures and writes back user demographics. In an earlier course, Transaction Services Interfaces, we looked at how the data is entered on a mobile device. In this course, we will look at how a Transaction Services report takes the data that was entered on a mobile device and writes it back to the data warehouse. We'll start by creating our Transaction Services report. To create the Add Customer Report, go to MicroStrategy Desktop and create a new report and select the Freeform Sources tab. From here, select your source. The source is the reference to the data warehouse where the data will be written back. Then select Create Transaction Report, then click OK. Now that we are inside the Freeform SQL Editor, right-click and choose Insert Transaction from the menu. You'll see both a Begin Transaction and End Transaction appear. Between these two statements is where you will type your SQL statement. When writing your SQL statement, be sure to leave space for where your input should appear. For each of the values to be inserted, you will define inputs by right-clicking the space between the commas and then select Define New Input and select Attribute Form or Metric, whichever is appropriate. After you create a placeholder in the SQL for each of your inputs, you'll notice they also show up below your input object area. You can either use Manage Objects and enter a name and data type in the input mapping area, like I'm going to do for these two metrics, or you can map the input to an existing attribute form or metric by right-clicking the placeholder and selecting Replace, then navigate to the folder where your attribute or metric is located and select OK. You will repeat this process for each of the values to be inserted. Notice that all inputs have been marked as required. You can set the required property to No. The input will not be submitted along with the SQL if the user did not provide it. After all your inputs have been defined, define an output for the report. Typically, these are manage object attribute forms that you can simply name output. After you click OK, the Freeform SQL Editor closes and you can save your report. If you need to go back into the Freeform SQL Editor to modify the SQL that you have written, you can either click this icon or go to Data, Freeform SQL Definition. Next, we're going to look at an Update Transaction Services report. This is created in the same way as the Insert report. You'll see that the transaction was inserted, the SQL statement was written between, and the input objects were defined for each input. Again, the process is also the same for deleting from the database. You could also simply call a stored procedure for writing back your transaction. Stored procedures are beneficial as they are easily reusable, can contain data validation and manipulation, improve performance, and provide a single point of maintenance. Now that your transaction services reports are ready, from MicroStrategy Web, you can create the mobile documents that provide the interfaces for these reports. As we learned in the previous course, the front end document and transaction services report are connected during the configured transaction process. And that's a wrap for this MATA course on the Freeform SQL Editor.